Hello everybody, my name is Professor Saborno Isaac Barry, and welcome to another lecture on physics. So today is really a brief summary about waves. I think, I mean, we're starting to get delve deep into waves, so why not get like a more brief introduction to waves? So, what are waves? Well, there are three kinds of waves. We've only been talking about one right now, but we'll talk about all three later. I think we've been talking about two recently. First of all, we've always been talking about mechanical waves, which I'll explain later. We haven't explored electromagnetic waves. And, but we have explored standing waves in the past. Remember that first harmonic, second harmonic, and things like stationary? Yeah, that's a standing wave. So, a mechanical wave would be a wave that requires a medium. For example, ripples in a pond requires water to be in a pond. Uh, and when you speak, when you speak, let's uh, draw you right here. When you speak, um, and the sound needs a medium. That sound medium is air. Without air, there's no air pressure to actually make the sound, uh, to actually make the sound work and for others to actually hear you. So since the uh, space is a vacuum, and which means it had no air, uh, stop thinking about that vacuum cleaner you have. So, space is not a vacuum cleaner. I'm just going to clear that up for a second before any of you start getting angry. Space is not a vacuum cleaner. Instead, it's just a vacuum. A vacuum is something that has no air. That's why uh, astronauts have to wear those funky looking spacesuits. Now, we know that mechanical waves need a medium, but there are actually two types of mechanical waves, which sort of apply to everything else as well. There are transverse waves, and there are longitudinal waves. Okay. In a wave. So a transverse wave would look like this. We have the disturbance and then the effect caused is exactly perpendicular to what the disturbance that just happened. So you see this, this would be actually pointing out of the board, but I don't think I did a good job trying to highlight that. I think that's better. Uh, so, I believe this goes here, this goes here again. And, this would connect like here. And you can see that these are perpendicular. Longitudinal waves are when the disturbance and the effect are parallel waves. Or basically, waves that uh, map onto each other. So, 
uh, I'll show you an example of what a longitudinal and transverse wave would look like. Transverse waves are like a rock swooping in a pond. Because the disturbance is downwards and uh, then uh, to simulate all the possible ways uh, that a ripple could go, you draw a circle in which uh, the intersection of the line with the pond is uh, the center. And then you draw every single radius of that circle. That would be all the ways the ripple could go. And obviously, like in a cylinder, they would be all uh, perpendicular to this one Jesus line. So, now, uh, I hope uh, what I just said doesn't cause any controversy. So, now, we're going to go into electromagnetic waves. I'm only going to make a brief summary about them, but electromagnetic waves is what gives you heat via infrared uh, radiation. So, it's nice that electromagnetic waves exist, but they also give you sunburns and they can tear atoms apart. So, they don't seem that nice anymore. But you would be blind without electromagnetic waves because visible light is in the electromagnetic uh, spectrum as well. So, can't get angry the electromagnetic wave. So you gotta be thankful to uh, electromagnetic waves for existing. Because no, they do give you sunburns, but uh, and they, uh, they also give you your heat and your sight. So you better be thankful. Anyways, uh, standing. Oh yeah, and electromagnetic waves also give you your radio. However, if you're in space, you probably won't be able to hear that radio. That's your inside of your spaceship that contains oxygen. So, that's because the sealed medium is gone. But anyways, without radio waves, radios wouldn't function. And even if you were on the ground, you wouldn't be able to hear any music. You wouldn't be having any internet. This probably wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for a radio wave. So, now, what about standing waves? Well, standing waves are waves that are stationary, stay in place. <laughs> Some people also like to imagine things where standing waves are infinite. But we are mostly focus on this model. Uh, there are a few specific points where uh, there were a few specific points where there were things called nodes whose position don't move while the wave is fluctuating. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that there are low frequencies and then there were high frequencies on the electromagnetic spectrum? And only a tiny part of the electromagnetic spectrum is actually things that you can see. So, uh, 
this is i believe yeah this is what uh, uh, the electromagnetic spectrum would sort of look like yes uh, so now we are thank you everybody we got a brief introduction to what waves are uh thank you everybody for watching professor i have a question what i still don't understand what are, uh, what are the difference between electromagnetic wave and mechanical wave oh yeah i forgot to mention electromagnetic waves need no medium so wherever you are you can get heat even uh even if it's in antarctica there's still a way to get heat i mean if you're traveling if you're traveling without anything but there's still a way to get heat anywhere you go via infrared uh what is it called infrared radiation there's also uv ultraviolet oh yeah and your microwave wouldn't work so no popcorn either if your uh, electromagnetic waves didn't mix and you can see everywhere you go because electromagnetic wave mean no medium so and that's why um uh, you can see any for everything in space you can get heat anywhere you go hey, uh, even on other planets and most importantly you're going to be able to eat popcorn on uh, you're going to be e able to eat popcorn while voyaging on titan anyways uh do you understand the difference now uh yes but mechanical wave you see uh you you said you need medium right yeah you need a medium oh thank you thank you everybody for watching and bye